We are now going to learn how to solve linear programming problems that contain three or more variables. We are going to use the add in called solver for an Excel spreadsheet. You can add it in whether you have a PC or a Mac. I am going to show you how to add it in using a PC since that's what I have. And I'm going to upload a document on Angel that's going to give you the written instructions how to upload it both on a PC and a Mac. So in order to upload it on a PC, the first thing we have to do is we click the word File. Notice we go to Options. We go to Add-ins. On the bottom of the sheet, we have Excel Add-ins. Make sure that Add-in Solver is checked off. You press OK. In order to ensure it's there, you click on the word Data. Solver should appear. We are now going to see how Solver works. I started with writing our objective functions. We want to maximize the objective function x plus 2y plus z. Subject to the constraints, x minus y plus 2z is less than or equal to 10. 2x plus y plus 3z is less than or equal to 12. Your constraints, x, y, and z have to be greater than or equal to 0. What we always start off is we write down the variables and we start with the initial values of 0 since x, y, and z have to be greater than or equal to 0. Then we create a little table where we're going to put down the numerical coefficients of the objective function of the constraints. And for the constraints, we also have a row for the inequality, the constants. And we, for the x, remember you only put the 1 by the x, 0 every place else. For y is greater than 0, y is 1, 0 every place else. And the same thing for the z. Now this particular column where I wrote maximum is where we're going to have the value of the algebraic expression. And that's the one we have to put in the solver sheet. In order to do that, we want to be able to create it in such a way that we create the formula once and only once, and then we are able to put down the, we copy this particular formula. So to do that, remember we have to create a fixed cell. Again, on a PC, you click the F4 button in order to make sure it's fixed, and you will see the dollar signs around that cell. So we click equal, and we have 1 times 0 F4 plus 2 times 0 F4 plus 1 times 0 F4. Notice the dollar signs on the fixed cells. We press R equal. There is our formula. Click on the cell on the lower right hand corner. We have the pluses. Notice that the value of the algebraic expression x minus y plus 2z is 0. Same thing is true for 2x plus y plus 3z is 0. And we know x, y, and z are also 0. Now we are ready to maximize our objective function using solver. So we get solver here. And the very first thing we want to do is we want to put in the objective function. And that is in cell K5. So we click on that. Make sure the maximum button is on changing the values of x, y, and z. And we click on those cells. And now we're ready to put in our constraints. So we go to the word add, and we're going to put in all five of the constraints. First one for the first value, x minus y plus 2z. We click on the 0, which is the value of that algebraic expression. It is less than or equal to 10. Then we go to the next one where we have the 0 is less than or equal to 12. For the x is greater than 0, we have the 0. Notice we change that with greater than or equal to 0. y, again, is greater than or equal to 0. And lastly, we have z is greater than or equal to 0. Once we finish that, we press OK. And all the constraints are there. Notice that the rows are the same for all of them. All the cells for the equations are in K. All the constants are in J. We're selecting the solving method called, called simplex. And then we go to solve. It keeps the solver solution. And what we notice is that x is 0, y is 12, and z is 0. The maximum value of the objective function is 24. All of the constraints truth prove to be true. 
The first one is definitely less than 10. Second one is equal to 10. X is 0, Y is 12, and Y is 0. And that gives us the solution to this objective linear programming problem.